in the last video that I'll put the next video on number system. So I'm back here with the num videos on number system. Okay, in this section, uh, I'll be teaching you about the numbers, the various types of numbers that is prime numbers, uh, co prime numbers, composite numbers, natural number, whole number, what are, the, what are the, these kind of numbers? I'll be giving you, explaining you with the help of some examples. Then the operations on numbers, how, uh, how to simplify the questions related to those numbers. Then the divisibility test. Basically, it is divisibility test is about, uh, you know, if a uh, big number is given to you, if a large number is given to you, like a uh, six to seven uh, digit number is given. So uh, if you have to check the divisibility, that is if this number is divisible by two, four, three, five, seven, eight, nine, eleven, thirteen. So I'll be giving you the tricks how to solve these questions, how to just see the number and tell that is it divisible or not. Okay. The very first concept with the numbers that we come on, what are numbers? The immediate uh, reason that comes to your mind, like 0, 1, 2, 3, exactly the same. Numbers are those things only. In definition, we can say number is denoted by a group of digits called numerals. That is what we speak about uh, 0, 1, 2, 3. These are the numer numerals and individually as well as in a group, all these are called numbers. So. Uh, in a proper way, in a definition way, we can say a number is denoted by a group of in digit called numerals. These digits on individual or group are called numerals. Numbers, sorry. We have only 10 uh, digits, namely 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So, what are the uh, other numbers called, like 11, 12? Actually, we have only 10 digits, 0 to 9, and other numbers are formed using all these digits, like 19, 1 and 9, 29. 2 and 9 this type of things happen okay so now we are familiar with the term numbers now we'll proceed to the next topic how do we represent a number basically uh, we are indian so we should learn we should also learn the indian system uh, there are two ways of representing a number uh, first way is indian system indian way of representing second is the international system of representation of a number so uh, how to tackle these topics let me tell you how to I'll give you, I'll be giving you the brief explanation. Okay. In Indian system, uh, like uh, uh, in Hindi, uh, we speak Ikai, the high, Sakada, Hazar, Das Hazar, Lakh, Das Lakh, Karod, Das Karod, Arab, Das Arab. In the similar way, in English, we call it units, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, lakhs, ten lakhs, crores, and ten crores, and so on. Okay. Suppose if I have to represent a number from 1 to 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, usually we place, we take from the right side, the first digit is put in the unit place, we call it the unit number, then the second is called the tenth one, third is called the hundredth one, fourth is the thousand, then the ten thousand, then lakh, ten lakh, then crore and ten crore. Similar way we'll put in the, in the place of unit, we'll put 9, then 8 in tens, 7 in hundreds. 6 in 1000, 5 in 10,000, 4 in lakhs, 3 in 10 lakhs, 2 in crores, and 1 in 10 crores. So in words, we can say that this is 12 crores, 34 lakhs, 50,789. So this is the Indian system of representation. We can represent any number. We can just reverse this order and even re we can represent this again. If we are asked that, uh, tell me the number that is, uh, suppose, the number is given from 1 to 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And tell me the place value of the 4. Then it is below lakh. That means the place value, value will be 4 into 10 raised to 5. That is multiplied by 10 raised to 5. Because it is at the 4th, it, it is an, below the lakhs and the places left after 4 is taken as 0. That means the place value is 4 lakh. Similarly, for 2, the place value, value will be 2 into 10 raised to 7. For 1, it will be 1 into 10 raised to 8 and so on. So the next topic is international system. How, how do we represent it inter internationally? Okay, so we have been uh, learning these figures like millions, billions, trillions, angelions. So similar is the concept till hundreds. After that, there is slight change. Like suppose if we have we have to represent one two three four five six seven eight nine in the Indian system we had taken unit tens hundred thousand ten thousand lakhs 
10 lakhs crore and 10 crores in the international system we take units tens hundreds thousands ten thousands hundred thousands million ten million hundred million then billion ten billion hundred billion and so on so now we have to represent one two three four five six seven eight nine in an international system so we'll, how we, we will represent from the right side we'll start putting the number below the boxes nine on units place eight on tens place seven on hundred place six on thousand place then five on ten thousand place four on hundred thousand place three on millions place two on ten millions place one on hundred millions place and how we're going to speak this verbally we'll call it 123 million four hundred and fifty six thousand seven hundred and eighty nine this is the verbal representation of the number that i have given here in an example that is one two three four five six seven eight nine okay there are two terms that you should know while learning the representation of a number these two terms are the phrase value and the place value place value i have just spoken about the place value just before the international system okay let me tell you what is the face value face value of a digit in a numeral is its own value at whatever place it may be suppose i have to find the place value of 3 here in 3 if if i call what is the face value of 3 it is just 3 it is the value of the the figure that we see is the face value of that number and the place value will be 3 into 10 raised to the number of blocks we get 1 2 3 4 5 6 that means 3 into 10 raised to 6 that means we can call this the place value of 3 will be 3 million similarly the place value of 2 will be 2 into 10 raised to 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 2 into 10 raised to 7 we can call this 20 billion so i have given the formula how to find this suppose the i have to find the place value of a unit digit then i will multiply unit digit into one if i have to find the place value of 10 digit i'll find i'll find it by 10 multiplying 10 digit with 10 similarly same example is given here find the face value and place value of 5 in 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 place value will be so, sorry there is mistake place value will be 5 and the place value will also be 5 into 10 raised to 5 okay the next topic is various types of numbers you know we are very much familiar with the uh, number system now so uh, we should know how to classify these numbers the first uh, term that uh, we should know is the natural number what are natural numbers so all the counting numbers that we know all the counting numbers that we count on our hands just now in the beginning of the section i have told we have only 10 digits that forms all the number system of the world we have just 10 digits that is 0 to 9 so excluding 0 from that set of 10 digits is the natural number that is all the counting numbers are natural number except 0 and what are those natural numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 now what is whole number we can call it like natural number with 0 that is all the digits all the numerals we have that is that are called the whole numbers all the natural numbers along with 0 are called the whole numbers example 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 okay now what are integers you know all the counting numbers along with 0 and its negative are called the integers we are very much familiar with the cartesian plane right in the cartesian plane we have 0 that is the origin right side is the positive side left side is the negative side so on this number system on this number diagram on the cartesian plane we can call we can represent an integer like suppose i have just spoken here all the counting numbers along with zero and its negative number are called integers like minus three minus two minus one zero one two three all this combination forms an, an integer okay now what are prime numbers all those numbers that are divisible by one and itself only only divisible by one and itself are called the prime numbers you know uh, if we call four four is not a prime number why because if we take the factors of four we have one 
2 as well as 4. So it is divisible by 1 and itself, but there is another factor 2 here. So 4 cannot be a prime number. All those numbers in the world that are divisible by 1 and itself are called the prime numbers. For example, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 29, 31, 37 and so on, 41 and so on. So all these numbers are called the prime numbers. Now what are co-prime numbers? You know, two numbers are called co-prime numbers if they have one as their HCF. Look, if we take two and three, now for two and three, if we take the factors, the factors are one and two, for three, the factors are one and three. What is the common factor between the two? One. So the HCF will be one. It's about the HCF, I'll be explaining you in the next video, next sort of videos. So here, one is the common factor between two and three. So two numbers are said to be co-primes if they have one as their HCF. Now, what are composite numbers? All the natural numbers that are not prime numbers are called composite numbers. All the natural numbers that are not prime. That means uh, you can call 4, you can call 6, 8. Okay, now this is the final topic that uh, I'm going to tell you about the, in the number system. So it is a divisibility test. This is the most important topic that we have to cover in the number system. This is the divisibility test that we have to test the divisibility of a number. Suppose I have given some number and I have to test its divisibility, whether it is divisible by 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 10, 11 or not. So I'll be giving you some of the methods how to calculate. Suppose I have to check, the, check its divisibility by 2. 2 is of course an even number. We know that. Okay. So for two unit place digit, if you have to check the divisibility of a number, if it is divisible by two or not, we'll check how to how we'll check it. Unit place digit should be divisible by two, or it contains zero, two, four, six, and eight. Right? For example, if we take twelve, one and two. Here the unit place digit is two. Two is of course divisible by two. That means it is divisible. Twelve is divisible by two. One forty-four. Unit place digit is 4, that means 4 is divisible by 2, 144 is divisible by 2. 1456, 6 is divisible by 2, then 1456 is divisible by 2, and so on. So we can check the divisibility of 2 in this way only. Now, if we have to check the divisibility of 3, there is a sim very simple thing we have to do just sum up all the numbers, sum up all the digits, and if the sum is divisible by 3, then that number is divisible by 3. So sum of all the digits should be divisible by 3. This is the divisibility criteria for 3. For example, take 12. 12 is 1 and 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 is of course divisible by 3. That means 12 is divisible by 3. 24, 4 and 2 is divisible. 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 is divisible by 3. So 24 is divisible by 3. 33, 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 is divisible by 3, so 33 is divisible by 3. These are the two digits number I have taken. You usually get this in the tables of 3 also. So we can also take some of the larger example. So we'll just proceed to the next one. Uh, let me tell you how to check the divisibility by 4. Last two place digits should be divisible by 4. For example, 1, 1, 2. Suppose we have to take the last two place digit, that is the unit place digit and the tens place digit. The last two place digit is 1 and 2, that is 12. 12 is here divisible by 4, that means 1, 1, 2 is divisible by 4. Okay, 7, 2, 4. The last two place digit is, that is the on the unit place and the uh, tens place, it is 24. 24 is divisible by 4, that means 7, 24 is divisible by 4. Okay, now the divisibility criteria for 5. For 5, the unit place digit must contain 0 and 5. This is the most simple one. If you see the unit place digit and it contains 0 or 5, that means it is divisible by 5. Example 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, etc. Now let me tell you uh, how to check the divisibility criteria by 8. Suppose we have to check the divisibility criteria by 8. Right now I have told you about uh, 4. The unit 
place and the tens place digit should be divisible by four. That means the whole number is divisible by four. Similar is for eight. 